Um, here is a, a, an IDL prototype of the whole thing where I tried all these interpolation methods and, and stuff. And this is um, one sole equation with a source term on the right hand side that is, I think, just a Gaussian around here. So I made it asymmetric because. Um, otherwise, you, you might see problems under the carpet that uh, we related. And, th and then you see the, the solution after, um, well, I guess i equals 0 represents the, the, after, the thing after one v cycle. So that's, the, so that's actually this curve here that is least straight out here and out there. If you, if you have a delta function here, in one D, you just get two straight lines connected, um, well, connected by a, a chain. So uh, the whole thing should be straight here, where the Gaussian is practically zero, and here. And initially, you see, you, you get this thing here, and then at the next iteration, you get considerably better, yet considerably better, and um, then after iteration number four or five, it's already difficult to see to see um, how things. Differ. Now, if we change um, if we change the number of points, so that that was thirty two thirty three points. So that's exactly the case where you have that simple textbook case. Um, where um, you, you cross grid points if you do this do everything the straightforward way um, are identical with some of the points on the final grid with every other point on the final grid. But since I, I'm doing this interpolation, which in this case doesn't do any good, I can also use weird numbers like 34, and then things look. Right. I, I don't know why, why I don't get any symbols of it here, but um, you, you possibly see that things are worse initially, so you get more scatter here, but again after four or five iterations you're pretty much on the right curve, and from then on what's happening is happening on the small scales, and it's, it's pretty similar to what you had before. So it takes a bit longer to, to get there, but uh, basically, with this scheme, I can put any number there that I like. If we stick to powers of two, then um, as sorry, I can't remember your name. Chao Qing. Chao Qing um, told me you, you, we actually don't need to do that um, interpolation because there's no need for the cause grid to really have <coughs> points on the boundaries. So then, then we can do without that. But the, the stuff is in place, and should we ever need it, we can do it this way. Now, in 3D, I also have a prototype for 3D. We, the whole thing is, of course, way slower. But basically, it does something similar. Um, well, provided. I remove that one thing that shouldn't be there in the first place. Um, okay, I, 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 I'm using more of my own routines here than I, than I thought, so I, I better stop you the last <coughs> few minutes to get that routine and, and so on. Um, in, in, in 3D, at least you have time to watch how the whole thing changes because obviously everything is slower. That's the basic message. But it's it's qualitatively the, the same. In it, initially, you have relatively large deviations, and then because of the, the error really decreases exponentially if you, after a few iterations, you just don't see any deviations anymore. Okay, thank you, Wolfgang. Um, so let's. Yeah, I see. Okay, so let's start the discussion discussion section uh, session then. Um, well, it seems to me that we managed to 
cover most of these items. Um, so what's now the arrows up to date? Oh, the errors indicate yeah, the file is at least up to date. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's the file is at least up to date. If somebody checks something else in it, that should have been, must should be enough. Why didn't I have a version for you? But you did not check it in, right? So what? If you just write pencil, then you get into a directory. Correct. Wow. My pencil command even sources the source the future. <laughs> so does Anders want to check in his version or what? Yeah. <coughs> Try again, Rock now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Update. Right, um, okay, so... This is not up to date. I think it's up to date now, yeah. I don't know what has changed. But, um, start with the state of the manual then. Just I have it right here. Um, so I don't know, any ideas about how to improve it? Maybe we can ask some of the people who started using it to code it and have any opinions about the manual. Okay. Um, I, I think the information are too concise. So maybe I think it should be more worthy. And I don't, I don't know why. Um, I, I still, after reading the manual, I still don't really know uh, how, how to start uh, to, build, uh, to use the code to get results. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Uh, the, the description just uh, tell you how to do this, 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 and I just follow the procedure. But after I run it once, I still have no idea how I can start from there. So, so what, that's, that's what, my problem. What would you like to see in the manual that would help you? To be honest, I'm not really sure how to improve that. Um, Basically, for a new user, what he wants is uh, how they can uh, stand from from this code, start from from the code uh, to to solve uh, his uh, physical problem he wants to solve. So the most important thing for the user is how they can do uh, to achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. So I think what that's what is uh, short of in the menu. Um, um, actually don't no idea how to build their own physical model through the code. Right. I think that that's the, the main reason why I don't follow. I mean, uh, you, you've been using the flash code, and I've been told that the uh, flash code actually has excellent documentation. Yes. Um, okay. So maybe we should uh, look, look at the flash documentation. And, we need you know, the manual for doing this. Um, I'm sorry. You want? To borrow no, you said we need the manual for doing this. <laughs> I, I, yeah. think, I, think, I think in the no, flash code, they, 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 they right just chapter uh, one, uh, it's a, a quick summary how you can build the code to suit your physical problem. So, so, so if you, 
what, what is the situation of uh, reproducing any of the samples? Is that an issue or is that not a problem? Uh, not, not a problem actually. I, I, I can easily follow the procedure described and to run the, uh, build the code, run the code and get the result and see the result. Right. That's no problem. But the problem is, after that, I don't know how to uh -huh. um, uh, mixing up pieces and, and to suit my physical model. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my typical mm -hmm. from the manual actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, uh, hope has often been that the one of these many samples would be close enough to, the, uh, to a suitable application. That is uh, the case certainly for all those projects which are similar to those that happened. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, that's right. That's, that's right. The, uh, but my question is the menu, not from the samples. I mean, you can run the samples easily. But yeah, but I mean, if you want to uh, adapt a problem to your problem, uh -huh. Uh, that can be done by adapting a sample. Yes. Yes, that's right. And of course, then it's possible that you actually have a problem which is uh, not at all anywhere near any of the samples. And then I think it's difficult, and that's perhaps the case you're talking about. Um, yes. If you if you if you if your physical problem is almost exactly the same as the samples, then you just need to change the parameters. That's true. Yes. Yeah, but I I think mo almost the, all, all new users have some their own insight. Or they want to yes. do some some steps <coughs> into the code. I I think that's the problem. Uh, if you want to put your own idea into. It. I guess uh, what you mean is uh, so normally you have to iterate from a problem from a test, you iterate up, up to your problem. But sometimes you would like you to go straight. To you want to go straight to your yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without and it's a part of process to practice to learn how to use the code to iterate. But I understand that you would like maybe just to go straight to your problem. You are not maybe interested to iterate. It's it's just an right. I think most users <laughs> have this bad uh, habit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just want to go straight to the problem. Beginning time approach. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I think this can be improved maybe by making a better, readily and more detailed association between where the equations are and where the modules are. Maybe writing explicitly that previous two situation is high true. I can't think of anything else. I mean, maybe I'm going to write the equations. Mm -hmm. Let's see which equation corresponds to which module and that's it. Right? But the hydro can hardly be any more restricted. Mm -hmm. No, no, it can't. I'm saying just one can show that this equation corresponds to this module. This is the line maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe a place where you show how you build up some particular example. So you say I select uh -huh. equation A, B, C. That means module P, Q, R. Yes. Um, can you look up, uh, Toby, in the menu? Uh, you have in our menu there is, of yeah. course, uh, something about the equation. Is there no association with the corresponding modules, maybe? Can in which case, that would be. Via the browser, perhaps. Just get it off the web. So fast this. There probably is an association, but it, it could be made clearer. Like, like no, one, one, could, one, one could. One one could um, explicitly write um, when when we show the Navier Stokes equation, that's what you get mm -hmm. if you put hydro equals hydro and in this mm -hmm. case viscosity equals viscosity in the main Just look at the home page. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know whether that actually right. is really what you mean. I mean, you. Uh, I mean, uh, did you? That's, I don't kind of cannot imagine that that's. A, it is a problem. I think the problem is something else. I mean, do you think that was addressing your question or what we just said or not? To be honest, I don't know how to improve the menu mm -hmm. explicitly. I just uh, have this feeling. Yes. Maybe somebody else has a uh, related opinion here who started with the code. For example, to, to uh, change something, uh, there wasn't NT uh, instead of uh, entropy. So how to add uh, temperature instead of uh, entropy to the code? Stuff like this, or how to 
add an extra variable to the f array. So this is really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have I have actually the same problem or or kind of putting it the other way that I think that there should should be more information on the manual about what what is in pencil code what is the connection between entropy and temperature. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, I mean that 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 has been suggested already, and and um, I'll I'll do that in in the in the appendix somewhere we can put way more of the mass and all these relationships uh, relations between uh, thermodynamical quantities and, and, and all that stuff. That, that I mean, but that is uh, easily getting. I mean, there is certainly something which you must have probably seen, something on the, in the ionization module. There's something about entropy. Remember that? You have the menu, by the way? Yeah. Um, that's also a piece that Bob uh, Toby has written. Um, so what, I'm going, what I wanted to say is that entropy is something which is uh, highly, co highly complicated. You maybe do a find or something and look, find, search. <laughs> is this your? Um, no. Is this related to this? Something so else. I don't know what it is. Not, it's not normal. But uh, to to come back to. Good. So what do you need to search for? Innovation? Yes, perhaps. To come oh, back US. to the improvement, uh, you said I don't know how to improve the manual. Um, the only thing I can say, I have, so I have the experience to work on very, very, very huge code, in the sense that uh, I worked for the army, so I was on the big code, and most of the time you have not access to 90% of the code, and the only way to go through is to be coached by someone who knows, <laughs> who knows how to use the code, that the, the only way, if you really want to not to lose time, well, is to have a, an, an, an Unless there's very good documentation. It's the, you, you could have, you see the problem, it's biggest, maybe the better is documentation, biggest it is, and worse it is, because most of the time when you start to have a documentation like this, people don't really go inside, because they don't have enough time to, to spend. Um, now, it, it's true, um, and the best way to do is to be related to someone who knows very well, who understands uh, what you want to do, and you do, and you have to him, do you, I don't succeed in something is missing, what you see is it okay. Mm. Uh, Has anybody then succeeded without explicit help? I mean, uh, some people, you for example, yeah? Yeah, I, I went to the manual, I, I learned quite a bit from the manual about, about uh, sort of a generic terms of the code does, but how the code works and how things are implemented, I learned only through actually working because of actually going through the source and looking. And I think that's really the best way to learn anyway. Yeah, but I mean I think I think what the manual lacks is I mean it has a nice little setup section, this chapter three, the getting started section, you know, and how to actually set up pencil to do something mm -hmm. in order that just just uh, you know setting up the environment variables. Um, linking sources and scripts, all this kind of stuff. But it doesn't really say what it is that you're doing. It just says you run some start script. Like, if I don't know what I'm doing, I just, okay, run start.csh. Okay, great, something happened. And then, uh, oh, I run CSH. Oh, great, something else happened. Some stuff went to the screen. Great, I did a simulation. But you really have no idea what you did. Yeah. So I think what's missing is sort of a, a, uh, a fact. In some yes. sense, that question. So you have. Or, or better yet, you take one of the examples that's in the, in the samples directory, um, and it's actually worked out in, in, in the... Uh, yeah, in tutorial the, would be nice. Yeah, just a really quick tutorial about, uh, you know, take... Okay, the, the, like the full work cycle, you know? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Like where, where the data gets stored and stuff like that. And stuff that's already in the manual, so maybe, you know, part of that has to be... Part of that issue is actually reorganizing some parts of the manual. But I think sort of a, like a mini tutorial would be very useful. Then that's what this... Setup section. Well, no, it's not. Well, well, yeah, right, right. But it's not. It ends. Uh, it ends with. Uh, it ends. Mm. <laughs> it ends CS, CSH, and then uh, it says uh, this is what the code outputs. But with, uh, and of course, that's completely customizable. 
And that's about all the menu says. It doesn't say what you did or anything. Right? So if you actually go into, I mean, you have conflab, uh, the convective slab sample, for example, and you actually have, a, I want to run something with a certain number of grid points and something, and these certain options and whatever, and those things are actually put in the menu as opposed to just run and start. Because otherwise you actually have to do go through uh, chapter <coughs> 8 in the manual or whatever it is, where all that stuff's put in. So, 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 sort of centralized the so, so basically what, what is missing is after that basic run to, to do the same thing with all sorts of different twists. Okay, now let's, let's change the resolution. What was the resolution in the first place? Right. I mean, it's like you, then, yeah, you, you give in a new computer that has no keyboard, right? How do you use it? Well, <laughs> you have somebody tell you how, piece by piece. In fact, I expect you just to figure it out. So, in other words, you, so you're going to have a, up to the point where, let's see, this already, that's all fine, I think. So you go, you pick a sample to work on, and, um, how to adapt, make file that first. <coughs> just, it references a section later on, so that's good. That's good. And it's probably this 3.1.6 running the code part. Okay, so now you're ready to start the code, but you're not really, because you don't know anything about what you're doing. You don't know anything about run.in, start.in, any of the parameters actually you're actually using to actually run a simulation. You don't know what you're doing. So maybe at that point, put in uh, you know, sort of mini tutorial about, okay, now you're going to run a code, but you need to know something about uh, the parameters that you're using and how they're implemented in the code, or something like that. And then, after you do that... Yeah, maybe, be a, start maybe be a bit more explicit about you know, what the code is doing and what the physics are, actually, right. and the parameters mm -hmm. regime, right. and, you know, now. I mean, uh, what I could imagine one could do is, um, you know, to keep it general, uh, take an... Um, Take a silver example, but explain this example how to go about uh, understanding anything in the code. So you uh, you are exposed to one sample. The sample, for example, starts with um, setup. Maybe that was uh, something to be skipped here because that's not the physics really. But then it has, for example, uh, density in it, uh, and then there's no parameters in density, for example. So you want to know what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. And then we would, of course, say, okay, if, it's, if it says density, please look into the file density.f90. Okay, I mean, that is already a first step that people actually have to know. Okay, then they actually do this. And then they ask themselves, so what am I doing here? And then, um, it, then you, you want to know which equation am I solving. So that means you have to look for uh, the command dln rho by uh, underscore dt. And then you actually know the, the actual equation that is solving. And then so somebody asked me, so how do, you, how do you calculate the divergence of the velocity field, for example? I have no idea how that actually happens. And then you actually need to look into the code. So that means uh, in, this in this module, which is not terribly long, mm -hmm. well, you can maybe actually show us this if you want. There is the density of 90 behind dollar, then dollar, yes, okay, that's fine. Yes, yes. And then look for um, dlm rho by underscore dt or something. Right. And so that has some... Um, uh, it says actually in the beginning already the, ne the equation, right? Okay. And now you can actually look how that actually is being assembled. So maybe Wolfgang can... Uh, um, Toby can light it. Ah, the, here, here we go. Is it not all? So that says df by dt, right? Is equal to df by dt, the previous thing. And then minus the u dot quad row. I mean, that's the name of things, of course. G. Can you point us? To mm -hmm. Sir? Can you point point the finger to, for what? example, u u g row or u l g l n row? That means u dot grad row, and that's a pencil. So then we would explain in the manual that the, the p percentage means a pencil, and the, the convention is that u g or G means gradient, Ln rho means Ln rho, and U means U. And okay. so U, G... That's what's missing in the first yes, part. Yes, yes. It's, it's so always actually, reference later in the manual various parts, but... So actually, the, you see, the actual equation is being solved, it's just one line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, uh, and then, of course, somebody asks me, how, but how do we actually calculate the view? 
Okay, so that's the next question then. And then we can lead the reader by to saying, to, to, um, um, to looking actually, there's a grab command. Where is p percentage um, diff u actually calculated? Mm -hmm. And that's actually, and then I don't even know by server of course, you have to look for that. But can you, you can just search for maybe where this is calculated. Uh, it's of course one of the pencils. No, just diff u. Diff u. Yes, it is in hydro, that's right. Mostly, yes. Okay, so you search this uh, with a grab command and you find it. And, and, he, um, and here it is. So here the, uh, the com command is called diff underscore mn. And I think we can actually ignore the mn, right? Would that be helpful by the way? Yeah. But it wouldn't be much more obvious. It, it, it reminds us, of course, that it's calculated only on the pencil. Oh, but it takes UIJ in. You need to feedback with UIJ. It takes UIJ in, yes. It's quite what? It's quite funny, no. That means the version of U doesn't calculate the version of U. It only calculates it once it knows all the derivatives. It only sums up the derivatives. So you have to explain one more thing. Yes. That's correct, yes. Well, we can easily overload them. Uh, it is already overloaded, don't worry. Mm, no. No? Okay, let me do it. Anyway, um, so but that, is that maybe what an answer to the question then? To lead somebody uh, to, through the basic procedure of how to find things? Yeah. But could one even, even, even make the user slowly build up his own first one, where, where not, nothing is said already, but really say, now we want to have a sound wave, or we want to whatever, and then really go through and say, you need to choose these more two things. Yeah, that would actually be very nice. Yeah, just when you have like a, a beginning programming class, you yeah. the first thing you do is always hello world, right? Yeah. So something sort of the pencil of hello world. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, I mean, I think there are two types. There are basically two types of new users. Yeah, users who are new to the pencil code but have used another code before, mm -hmm. or users who are completely new to pro uh, numerical programming. Or even Linux, of course. Or even Linux, or whatever. And I mean, the question is to what extent we will actually want to address the needs of people who are, have never used the numerical code before. But I mean, Charles Jin has used the numerical code before. It's still found it confusing. I mean, there, yes, there, are, there are ways to improve this yes. in yeah. any way. But, but, but I mean, the, that's still a question that we need to. I mean, we 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 certainly don't want to go. Too deep into the, the the stuff that first time users of, of any code at all need because that's you you'll never cover all and you'll just whet the appetite for so why don't they explain this why don't they explain that and we can we can write a fifty volume handbook hmm. but we have better stuff to do. But I mean, this tutorial would actually address these users, I guess, to some extent. But, yeah. but on the other side, a, 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 a tutorial shouldn't yeah. assume that that um, like 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 the lecture. You shouldn't assume that the students know everything that they are supposed to have learned in the lectures in the courses they've taken before. They probably learned it. They've forgotten half of it, and it, it should be a fair a, a fair amount of. Um, information to of of which some part may be known to not to most people, but um, we shouldn't like assume that there's a, a canonical um, set of stuff that they just have. You know, it also it also helps if you get that if you see okay they do it exactly like I I've, I've seen it with that other code and that stuff. 